So they're playing with their pet dragon and are like, Beware, foul dragon. I, Sir Cow, am your worst nightmare. Well, fear me. And he rolls to play dead. And they're like, aha, I have slain the mighty beast. But then the dragon deliberately tricked them and then they now hook them. <laughs> and they're like, hey. Yep, that's, that, the, the dragon's got some humor to it. Can't always play dead. Now you've got to play dead. <laughs> oh, our addiction is real, but you can overcome it. Remember to pray your rosary. Pray the rosary E6, Catholic E6. Oh my goodness. Well, we're pretty sure that the rosary beads are being used for something else on Catholic E6, but we're not going to delve deep into that. <laughs> and there's probably a lot of nuns on there as well. They're like, yes, I'm a fairy. How do you know? Oh my goodness. They have that in class though. I mean... That's so cool. I would be so weird and awkward and so, like, you know, uncomfortable having that on one of my monitors if I was, like, in class and stuff like that. That would be, like, someone would be, like, and I would be, like, freeze up and, like, what? I don't know what to say. But, oh my goodness, props for having such confidence, though. So, I went out to eat with my friend. Bro ate his friend. And, like, looking at each other, like, ugh. <laughs> they made a war joke, but the person is definitely not into that joke at all, so it's like... Yeah. They're like, breed me. But then they get... The, the person's got like the demon thing on them, and they're like, hmm. You know what I meant, so then they turned into a bread loaf. I mean, yeah, you've been breaded right there, you've been breaded. <laughs> I found a lot of scarves in your drawer, and they're so comfy. Uh, those are my socks. Jason, and he's like traumatized because it's been all over his feet and everything, and it's like, oh, but yeah, they're not scars, the guy seems so happy, and then only to be told it sucks, it becomes a depression. They're going in the elevator, and oh my goodness, there's so many furries there, and they're looking at him like, he's got dog treats, and they're all dog furries, so like, and then they all love him, oh, <laughs> that's adorable. Yes, it always works on dog furries, just give them those treats. And they'll love you in no time. They won't look very dissatisfied and like at you. Cal, you're such a good girl. Oh, thank you. And they poof. Oh, they turn into a dog and they're like, oh, dude. Oh my. <laughs> yes, because they got called a good girl, so they become a dog. I bought you this chain necklace. I wanted to give it to you since I'm not wearing it anymore. It looks so cool. Thank you. How do you? Yeah. I'll do it. And it's a click. And it's like, oh, you a dog. What? Sitting like that, I'm even putting a chain on you. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, wait, I just realized this. Oh, wait, no, they're not a bat. They're a possum. Never mind. Or a rat. But still, I love those ears. <laughs> those type of ears gotta be the best right there. Hey. I think it's the better if we were just friends. All right. You all right? I'll be okay. The fake smell. I mean, yeah, this, that happens. That happens to people. Um, and the only thing you can really do is like, um, just like get over it. But rejection hurts like a crap, like crap ton. But unfortunately, there's no really like sudden definitive cure. But if you've got anything to for that, please do say down in the comment section because I'm curious. But yeah, there's definitely better people out there yet you could be with. So don't worry if you get rejected. Fairies are gross. Okay, I didn't realize I didn't sense that, but um, yeah. I hope that's not a bit too much, but ah, but I am no mere fairy. I have combined my love of Japanese RPGs and fairydom into my persona. Slime fairy, and he's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I don't think this person really thinks they're gross anymore now looking at themselves. I think they might be a bit disappointed in themselves though. NSFW, attracting too many fairies. Hey everyone, I'm a nuclear engineer, an aerospace firm making 195,000 in Seattle. Every time I go to a bar, party or any social events in general, I try my best to avoid talking, telling people what to do. Every time I tell a furry, male or female, I'm a nuclear engineer, they start hitting on me. Last week I went to a friend's birthday party, told his brother I was a nuclear engineer. He kept asking me, can you cause a reactivity excursion from your control rod? And can I be your fast breeder reactor in a flirtatious manner? This is a recurring problem. It's gotten so bad that I tell fairies that I'm an industrial engineer. 
so they'll stop hitting on me all the time, and advice to stop attracting so many furries as a nuclear engineer. First comment is lol. Oh, <laughs> I definitely know this is definitely not a real person. I feel like it's not a real person. If it is, then oh my goodness. When your friends are furries and like some art, and they start thinking they're making progress. Sorry, no thanks here. No tail or paws either. Let me go already, alright? Rock, we've heard a lot about you, and after hearing all of it, we think there's a good reason to believe that you're one of us. Oh my, well... <laughs> yeah, that really is kind of what it is, that's when the pathogen starts making progress on the person. There's no escape, they can't stop it at all. How it feels to be Brazilian, oh my goodness, you become a macaw instantly. <laughs> I guess if you're Brazilian, do tell me down in the comment section, does this really, is this really how you guys feel? That's the last section, last of this section, Colin. Sweet, thanks Aiden. Oh, and you said you had something for me. Right, uh, forget it. Cool, thanks for your help today. Mm, mm, later. Sniff, sniff. Shame, I like roses. <laughs> oh, they, yeah, that's the... They, 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 they're, they're too afraid to, to do it out the but, um... I've seen, I've seen the original, like, comic thing. The, the raccoon Kozakun thing, and it's so, so cute and adorable. Oh, goodness, I think I first read it, like, um... I don't know, a while ago, a long time ago, I can't even remember. <laughs> but it's what made me into a furry, so yeah. What is that? Oh this, it's a tie. Don't I look professional? Hey Kevin, working hard or hardly working? <laughs> Man, this day is dragging. Well, back to the grind. Who was that? I have no idea. Well, um... The, I think the wolf's gonna stop being like, I don't want to be like a human anymore, I don't want to wear this tie anymore. <laughs> I not, don't want to, I don't want to, to be depressed from overworking. Ooh, you, die you stupid, and they're looking at them like, blushing, and they're like, the, the conscious is telling them, no, cut it out. Anger isn't hot. I know, I know. Yeah, I don't suggest you get with anyone who's like very angry and stuff because they could be quite abusive. So avoid that, please avoid that. Right, so I just um removed the 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 reposter's credit and replaced it with the actual artist of the artwork there because I don't think um you should be giving like thingy to someone who's just simply reposting it. And the artist needs the credit server. So, uh, me trying to learn and understand math. Oh my goodness, well I really do be like that. Not gonna lie, <laughs> I didn't understand math at all. And I would like to say, um, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to subscribe, become a member if you want to see content before it's released. I'm sorry that I'm removing the comments part of these videos, and instead I will be starting to stream, replying to people's comments as well now, instead, because I feel like that might be better. And you get to see more memes in the content as well, which people keep asking me, and people keep telling me to stop yapping. So anyway, you can find the memes and artists in the description.